This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to use the file system task to rename a file. Here we are in a directory named Directory1 that contains eight Excel files. And I'm going to choose one of them to rename, so I'll just pick six file. I hold down the shift key and right mouse click on the file name and select copy as path. I'll be setting up that file to be renamed. So we're going to start by defining variables for the old name and the new name. So the first one I'll do is old name. It's going to be a string type and I'll paste in what I just uh, copied of the file path and I'll delete the double quotes at the beginning as well as at the end. And then I'll define a second variable for the new name. Again, it's a string data type. And I'll paste in the uh, file path again, delete the double quotes. And then I'll come up with my new name, which will be new file name. Stay tuned to see how I configure the file system task to rename a file. Are you tired of updating packages because of changing metadata? How many hours have you spent accommodating new source and destination columns? How many nearly identical packages do you have to maintain? Especially when you need to update hundreds of them. Well, you should check out Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus component. Dataflow Task Plus provides the ability to acquire the metadata and map the columns at runtime. You can even use transformations on the data. Just add the changes at the source and destination, execute, and Dataflow Task Plus will handle the process of extracting, transforming, and loading the desired columns from the source to the destination without a need to change the existing package. It works with any standard SSIS Dataflow components, transformations, and application adapters. No more manual package updates. Design your SSIS data flows with Dataflow Task Plus and save hundreds of hours. A vision of completely metadata-driven processing is now possible. Download CozyRock's Dataflow Task Plus from CozyRock.com. It's free for testing and development within Visual Studio. Then we'll drag the file system task onto the canvas. We'll be using this to rename a file. And I double click to open up the editor. So first we need to go change the operation to rename file. And our destination path is going to be in a variable. This is where the new name of the file is. And then we'll choose the new name variable. And then down here, the source path will also be a variable. So we set that to true. And we'll choose the old name variable. We click OK to close the editor. I'll save the package. And then I right mouse click on the name of the package and select Execute Package. And it was successful, so I'll stop debugging. And we'll go over to that folder. And there you can see six file is no longer there because it's been renamed to new file name. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that. 